click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the isomerism in the coordination compounds that is the complex. In that case we have got to know that is there are basically two main types of that is classification of the isomerism and that is structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. So in that case we have also understood about the structural isomerisms. So structural isomerisms are also basically classified into further types. So based on that let us understand what are the structural isomerism of the complex. isomer the second is coordination isomer the third is hydration isomer and the fourth is linkage isomer so what is ionization what is coordination hydration and linkage isomer so based on that we are going to talk about each of these isomers with the help of the definition and example so now let's get started so friends here we are going to talk about the first isomer that is belonging to the structural isomer that is ionization isomer. So what is the definition of it that is the compounds which have the same molecular formula but different ions in the solution are called as ionization isomers. So for that let me give you an example. Suppose if I am considering a complex and that complex is nothing but CO, NH3, 5, Br, SO4. So suppose this is the compound. But this compound can form two complexes. So in that case, suppose if I'm talking about the first one, that is, suppose the complex is where we can get, that is the central metal atom as the cobalt. Suppose if it is surrounded by NH3 molecules, and in that case, suppose the bromine atom is also placed in the secondary entity and talking about that is the sulfate. So the sulfate group is present in the primary sphere. So this is a possibility that is what we have from this compound and the other possibility that is what we could get is suppose we could get we could get cobalt as the central metal atom so talking about suppose if NH3 molecules are surrounding this cobalt metal and in that case suppose if SO4 that is the sulfate ion is present in the secondary entity or is present in the secondary sphere. So in that case suppose if Br is present in the primary sphere so therefore this are the two complex that is what we have. So the both have the same molecular formula as you can see but what is the difference the difference in the formation of ions suppose if this compound it ionizes so therefore it will ionize in the form of that is co nh 3 5 br plus so4 2 minus so in that case it will acquire a 2 plus charge that is this complex will acquire a 2 plus charge and what happens if this complex if it ionizes so therefore it will ionize in the form of CO NH3 5 times SO4 plus Br minus and here this one will acquire plus one charge so the both have a different charge on the complex but it is not only the complex but you can see that is there is the formation of SO4 2 minus ion so therefore it could be easily precipitated out with the help of whenever we are adding that is BACL2 so therefore it will precipitate it out in the form of Ba SO4 and suppose in this case suppose if we are treating with that is NaCl so therefore it will form that is NaBr or for example suppose if this complex is treated with suppose if this complex is treated with AgCl so therefore this will be precipitated out in the form of AgBr so that is how basically there are two different ions that are being produced and not only the ions are being produced different but we can also see the color if you talk about that is CO NH3 5 Br 2 plus so therefore it will have a color which is nothing but it is red in color while talking about this one this will have that is a red violet in color so therefore they have a particular difference even though they have the same molecular formula but obviously they have different ions whenever they are dissolved in a particular solution so therefore this was nothing but the ionization isomer and now let me talk about the next one so friends talking about the next isomerism that is coordination isomers so what is the definition of it let us understand that is this type of isomerism which arises from different complex ions having same molecular formula is called as coordination isomer. So now let me give an example so that we could understand this in a very easy way. Suppose if we have a complex that is suppose if I talk about that is Cu NH3 4 times and here there is platinum Cl4. So you can find that is this copper has a coordination number of 4 and in this case also the platinum has a coordination number of 4. But what happens if I choose the another complex that is this one. 
where I can find that is the copper atom is surrounded by four chlorine atoms and in this case the platinum is surrounded by four ammonia molecules. So if I compare this two complexes so I could get that is they both have the same molecular formula but they have different ligands attached to it. For example in this case the copper is attached to the ammonia molecules and in this case the platinum is attached to that is chlorine atoms while in this case the copper is attached to that is the chlorine atoms and in this case the platinum is attached to the ammonia molecules. So in this case the both have the same molecular formula but different in the attachment of the ligand. And that's the reason they are known as coordination isomer because they differ in the attachment of the coordination ligands. So therefore this was nothing but the coordination isomer and now let me talk about the next one. So talking about the next one that is we have hydrate isomers. So in that case let me explain you the definition of it that is the compounds which have the same composition but differ in the number of water molecule present as ligand and as free water molecules in the crystal lattice are called as hydrate isomers. Means there is a difference between the water molecule present as a ligand that means the ligands which are present in the secondary sphere. I talk about as free water molecules which are present in the ionization sphere or which are present in the primary sphere. So therefore there is a difference between these two so therefore this is what I am going to explain with the help of the example and the example is for example if I choose CrH2O6 and here it is Cl3 that is present in the primary sphere and suppose if I am choosing the another complex where we can find that is the chromium is present as a center metal atom and in that case basically if H2 attached over here is 5 and there is Cl over here and 2Cl along with that of that is 1H2 is in the primary sphere. So therefore these are the two complex that is what I have mentioned over here but you can find that is here the six water molecules are present as a ligand but in this case five water molecules are present in as a ligand and in that case one water molecule is present in the primary sphere. And here basically there are three Cl that is atoms that are present at the primary sphere and here basically there are two Cl present at the primary sphere. So therefore you can find a difference that is this will ionize in a different way and even this will ionize in a different way. So there is a difference in the water molecules or the number of water molecules that are present as a ligand. So in this case there are six water molecules that are present as a ligand but in this case there are five water molecules that are being present as a ligand. So therefore this is the two difference between this two and that is how basically we can find that is this two are hydrate isomers of each other. It was a simple one. So now let us understand the next one. The next thing I'm going to talk about is linkage isomer. So what is linkage isomers? That is the compounds which have the same formula but differ in the linkage of ligands to the metal atom or the ion are called as linkage isomer. So in that case we see we are going to talk about ambidentate ligands. So let me give you an example. That is suppose if I'm talking about that is COnH3 five times and here we see there is an attachment of NO2 and Cl2 which is present in the primary sphere. I suppose if I am talking about the other example that is CO NH3 5 here it is O N O2 Cl2. So you could say that is the both are nothing but the same because they both have the same molecular formula they both have that is the same number of primary entities over here as you can see. But what is the difference actually? The difference is with the ligand. Yes, here you can see that is the attachment of nitrogen is with the central metal cobalt while in this case the attachment of oxygen basically if this is the ligand. So this ligand has an attachment from oxygen to the central metal atom that is in this case it is cobalt. So that's the reason here basically the nitrogen approaches and the nitrogen share its pair of electron to the cobalt while here basically the oxygen gives an electron pair to the cobalt so therefore there is a different in the point of attachment of the ligand depending on the atom also. So therefore this two ambidentate ligands that is what I have discussed about that makes to be known as linkage isomer as you can see here and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood what is the structural isomers and what are the different types of structural isomers and that's it. So I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much.